Folks, it's an election year. We've got a lot of bullshit to choose from, but, uh, you know, at least there's one guy that keeps entertaining us. And I'm, of course, talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who uh, we talked about on the show, uh, claims that ha- he had uh, a mercury poisoning and a dead mm-hmm. worm in his brain. Yeah, oh, is that crazy. what killed the worm? Uh, it, well, I think his just his bra- the power of his, of his brain. amazing <laughs> brain <laughs> boiled killed the worm. It. Yeah, the worm slid out oh medium God. rare out of his brain. <laughs> Uh, that is so insane. The worm was like, I can't be eating this. I actually can't it's be not here. good for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but we've got some new fun stuff with uh, Kennedy. This is Rachel Sharp writing for The Independent and Jennifer Bindery writing for The Huffington Post. A claim once made by independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy appears to be a total fantasy. Uh-oh, what? He's full of shit. Uh, <laughs> in the 1984 book, The Kennedys, an American drama, RFK regaled the story to the author about a time that he said he was shot at with bows and arrows by indigenous people while rafting in Peru. <laughs> Why was he in this book talking about that? doesn't about make that? any sense at all. <laughs> it's a book about the Kennedys. <laughs> and they so, were like, here's a side right, so, story with this. <laughs> it's a book. I love this because the author is writing a book about the Kennedys, mm. obviously gets the RFK part writes the shit about the can you know the 68 campaign and the assassination and then it's yeah. like what's his kid up to and it's like oh oh he's fucking it's gotta be a bad <laughs> to, be a, to be a boring person in a celebrity attention whore family yeah. yes. you gotta you gotta make up some yeah. crazy yeah. lies to get attention absolutely oh yeah eating stuff with worms in it yeah <laughs> so rfk fighting Cl- natives in peru <laughs> <laughs> this is like some straight <laughs> indiana jones yeah, shit because yeah. this is from 1984 Ripped so it is hard out the year after temple of doom <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like wait, wait, wait that was a movie i saw i think he just thinks he is temple yeah. of doom right that sounds yeah. cool yeah. i probably did that yeah <laughs> people are impressed by that <laughs> yeah. movie Right. Is that impressive? Because I probably did stuff like that too. I bet. <laughs> now that I now that I think about it, actually no, it's 1984. It's the year of Temple wow, of Doom. My bad. Awesome. Like walked out of the theater <laughs> into this <Yeah>. interview. <laughs> they had the interview after the movie in the in the projection booth. It's just playing behind him. Uh, so RFK claims that one of his friends, uh, while they were rafting, was almost hit by an arrow prompting him and his cousin, Christopher Kennedy Lawford, to heroically leap into action. <laughs> I like that the... Aren't yeah, they, you in a raft? The what you, what's even the good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So RFK and Mr. Lawford then supposedly lit a stick of dynamite. Okay, you're going to have that on a raft. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And threw it at their attackers, causing them to retreat. <laughs> The story goes. He's got my vote. This is. <laughs> I know. That's all I needed to hear. I'm kind of yeah. <laughs> He's gonna throw a stick of dynamite at our <laughs> yeah, exactly at all of our problems and make them retreat. retreat. Yep, they're retreating. Quote: This is RFK in the book. Mm. Lawford is standing there holding the dynamite, <laughs> telling me to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> we could hear the Indians coming at us through the bush. We could oh. we put a blasting cap and a fuse on the dynamite. As the Indian who was shooting at us stepped up to the bank of the river, I lit the dynamite, and then Lawford held it until the fuse had almost burned down. Like a firework. Yeah. <laughs> then we threw it. Hell yeah. <laughs> a lot of people love to hold it. Yeah. Sticks of dynamite yeah. that are lit while they're in a raft. <laughs> egg out yeah. in a battle. It's like a wily e. coyote yeah. fucking time. Also, both of these people are just Kennedys. Like the idea that they would be uh, competent around a stick of dynamite yeah. is yeah. so funny. Like they're like, there's assassination attempts at our family. I've also had it happen. This is <laughs> I, I was in a jungle. Listen this, to this. This isn't even like <laughs> Temple of Doom shit. This is like Roadrunner yeah, yeah. Coyote yeah. shit, yeah. right? Getting shot in Texas. That's <laughs> not shit. <laughs> So it, the dynamite landed in the water right next to the Indians. Then it exploded, sending water 30 feet into the air. And they all <laughs> took off running. Triumphant. <laughs> and never came back. I was yeah. like, again, you're thinking of a firework. Dynamite yeah. is such a much bigger explosion yeah. than that. Unless you threw it pretty far away from them. Mm. But they're saying, like, he lobbed yeah, it at them. Yeah, it sounds you pretty. possibly <laughs> throw it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds pretty impressive, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I think yeah, that's that the, does sound cool. That's how the story really... It's, how, it's I can't guys. believe how he got... How did, how did he ever get busted in this line? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just a regular it's story. Like I wouldn't be that checked impressed. into a hotel <laughs> and fucking d- d- DC during that time. <laughs> Other tales from Kennedy's Peruvian travels include claims that Kennedy used bows and arrows himself to, quote, shoot tree monkeys, which they then roasted 
2008. I was literally just wow. going to say they strangled a, a leopard or something and ate him for three days. Yeah, but, yeah. But they, well, they, they already you, made that part of the story. Up. You know, the, like, mo- the monkey had a guava in its mouth and they were like <laughs> roasting it. Yeah. And, you know, this guy, don't, don't run for president. Let's make a <laughs> franchise based on this man's amazing. I like that he's, he's <laughs> like, he's like, oh, they, they shot at us with bows and arrows, but I am also pretty good with bows and arrows. So <laughs> yeah. I actually was better than them with bows and arrows. Right, right. <laughs> when I threw the dynamite at Batman, <laughs> I inherited his bow powers. Yeah, and Lawford was there, man. He was just standing there being just like, fucking there, do it, dude. The dynamite. <laughs> just do it, dude. We've been ready for this moment, <laughs> this whole raft trip. Yeah. This is why we brought the dynamite. <laughs> Wait, so did they also have bows and arrows to kill the monkeys? Mm. Yeah, that's what he's saying, is that he, he shot a monkey, but then also they were getting shot at. Uh, why he, did they not use the bow and arrow back? Great question. Mm. It's almost <laughs> as like he has as many plot holes as he does holes in his brain. Mm. Uh, zero, because he's also lying about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> he also refers to an incident where a drunk indigenous person charged him with a machete, quote, gashing him in the back. And <laughs> the next story is going to be about him I... using a machete appropriately. No, the next story is him getting boiled alive. <laughs> you know, he's in a pot. Yeah, yeah this, guy, this guy lunged down with a machete and gashed him in the back, but he was aiming for a straight up coup de gras at his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's when Chris Lawford jumped him from behind. <laughs> oh, oh, stick and they're a duo. They're a duo. That's yeah, what makes yeah. it great. They're, they're yeah. together. Lawford is there. I like, bug naked with blood on they're, his back. They're a regular Indian Marion Ravenwood, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? I like that that implies that he's like, yeah, he was trying to cut my head off, but he only hit me in the back with it, so I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> I think just a little nick in the back with yeah, a machete with is machete. He's probably in the jungle. Terrible. Yeah, not going to be gonna be good enough to lay you out. Lawford. <laughs> 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 yeah, Law- Lawford jumped on him and took him out, wrestled him to the Fuck ground. Yeah, <laughs> Kennedy also reportedly, quote, kept eating strange things on this trip <laughs> from the book. Quote, okay. Bobby <laughs> ate anything and everything. Even though he had a bad case of dysentery, he'd taken pills for it, but he claimed that the only thing that worked was a tincture of opium that he had brought. <laughs> Fuck Wait, yeah. you went there. He brought the opium with him. Yeah, apparently like he could get it. Locally. Private plane, Private. baby. It's Kennedy's. You know, he flew on that Martha's yeah, one. <laughs> flew on that Martha's Vineyard Express straight yeah, into Peru. This is probably the only part that's true. Yeah, I yeah. He did story. a bunch yeah. of opium. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's yeah. the part I believe. Yeah. Yeah. He probably just did a bunch of opium and hallucinated. <laughs> yeah, all of course. <laughs> but they say he kept eating strange things. At one point, we were at some peasant's house, and boiled rat was served <laughs> for dinner, and Bobby ate it. Not only that, he sat there with this weird <laughs> smile, and then he pulled one of the eyes out of the rat ate that too <laughs> and they're like this guy's <laughs> cool freak is <laughs> just got to hang out with strung out just being Ooh. like yeah, I like the rats I like the rats i'm the king of the like, rats bobby man he's crazy <laughs> like that crazy <laughs> i like crazy. how they also just don't even know what animals are down there <laughs> yeah. so they're just like monkey rat yeah yeah, yeah. peasant's house <laughs> yeah peasant's <laughs> house peasant's yeah house. i don't know they're just fucking poor <laughs> yeah yeah you who know knows? they eat rats so <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh lawford is passed away but rfk's other traveling companion told a different story blake fleetwood oh, here we go yes a longtime friend who was on the rafting trip has dismissed the tale entirely <laughs> wow <laughs> saying that the river was calm and that the native attack never occurred fleetwood said that a number of kennedy's other claims in the book were distorted or just pure fantasy he doesn't eat anything <laughs> he won't eat anything he's he was picky. pretty picky <laughs> he's very picky <laughs> <laughs> the uh the book's author himself previously stated that rfk jr quote had a bit of an agenda in his cooperation with them on the book and that he claimed that he had, quote, a twisted mind. <laughs> he sounds Weird. way cool. I like, know. He played some fucking electric guitar by that. This is yeah, like yeah. Kennedy <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. <He's> twisted. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I just, I do want to meet the Romancing the Stone fucking version of yeah, Robert yeah. F. Kennedy. I need him to tell these bullshit stories because... <laughs> That's the thing. It's like should be saying previously we just thought he was like nuts, but now that this suggests that he's also a fucking liar, it's like build him the fuck up. Far back, just make it up. Just get him on. I don't. Cheryl Hines is like I'm taken by this man. Yeah, that's the other thing. (laughs) Have you heard his story about when he was Indiana Jones? Uh, Yeah. Oh my god, he's a great improviser. He makes shit up all day long. (laughs) (laughs) It's great. (laughs) It's really comfortable for me. Oh man, yeah. So between the brain worms and uh, the Peruvian. 
It doesn't mention a bullwhip, but I am just imagining yeah, it. Yeah, sure. know? that's part of it. He's got the bullwhip. Yeah. He's got the revolver. You don't have the full quote. Yeah, he's yeah. got my vote for sure. I yeah. want this book. I'm not going to lie. I really just want the unedited transcript of everything he said in the interviews that was <laughs> quoted in the book about the Kennedys, but this shit's amazing. <laughs> Each day, Robert Kennedy is surrounded by a lot of reminding that we must do something about tomorrow. Kennedy. 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 